Hello friends, in this video we will see how to bind drop down list using view bag and view data. Now we are going to create a list from enum and we will pass this list using view data and view bag to the view and we are going to bind the drop down using view bag and view data. Now the view bag and view data will be carrying a list of type selected list item and that list we will bind to the drop down. Now let's see to the application how we can achieve this. Now we have a simple ASP.NET MVC3 razor application wherein we have a drop down binding action result method which renders the view named drop down binding which is a part of drop down controller now we have a drop down binding chstml view and in this view we are going to render the drop down now let's create a list for our view bag now the syntax to create a view bag is view bag dot player list now the player list becomes the key for the view bag and we are going to use the same key on the view while accessing the list now to create list from enum we are going to use enum.get values and the type of enum for our, us is players and we are going to cast it to the enum type as well and we are going to s select each value from the enum so I am going to create one selected list item for each value from the enum and we are going to set its text from the enum values So now our list is ready. Now we are going to bind a drop down using this list passed through view back. So we are going to use drop down list helper and the first parameter it accepts is a name. So I say my drop down. The second parameter is is the i numerable selected list item. So in our case we have passed it using view back and the name of our the key for our view bag is player list so now it gives us an compile time or error which says the view bag dot player list is not of type what the drop down list is ex expecting it's expecting i numerable selected list item so we need to cast it so we are going to cast it to i numerable selected list item so now the error has gone and let's run the application to check whether the drop down is filled or not now let's check our list first whether the list has been created properly or not you can see the four items from the enum and and this list is passed to the view and the drop down is ended on the view now you can check the drop down is filled with the value. If I check the HTML, you can see value attribute and text has been set for the drop down. Now the same we can pass using view data. The only thing we will change is the syntax. Uh, the syntax of view data is different than view back. Now here the player list becomes a key. So we'll be using the same syntax to access it on our view. So that's on the application. Just everything will be the same. You can see the top down is filled. So this is how you can pass a selected list item list i numerable list inside view bag or view data to the view and here you can access the list and cast it to the i numerable selected list item and you can fill the drop down or bind the drop down thank you friends